the capabilities of the robot, will be increased significantly by exploiting object throwing behavior. Though, it is a challenging problem. Additionally, it gets more difficult when there are, environmental constraints, such as obstacles. Even though, object pick and place is one of the main functionalities of service robots, its process is often slow, as the robot needs to pick up the object, move it to the desired pose, and then place the object into the basket. If the target basket is outside the maximum kinematic range of the robot, the pick and place behavior even becomes impossible. But the throwing behavior can enable robots to place objects into the basket, located outside its kinematic space. Since precisely throwing objects into a basket depends on many factors, including physical properties, it is difficult to formulating it, based on analytical methods. Therefore, we formulate it as a reinforcement learning problem. We train the robot on three tasks using three off-policy reinforcement learning algorithms. Because of the low SIM2 real gap in Gazebo, we built our simulation environment in Gazebo. Task 1 is about an obstacle-free object throwing into a static basket, where the basket is randomly placed in front of the robot. As shown in these videos, we used various simulated objects with different materials, shapes, sizes, and weight. We observed that, the robot with SAC policy, could throw the objects into the basket successfully. In the second round of experiments, task 2, the robot should learn to throw a target object into a moving basket. In these experiment, the robot needs to detect the pose of the basket, and estimate its direction and velocity, and then predict proper parameters, to throw the object into the basket successfully. Similar to the previous round of experiments, the robot with the SAC policy obtained the best results. These videos show that the learned policy performs well, in various situations and different objects. Task 3 is much more complex than the previous tasks, as the robot should learn to infer an obstacle-free path. We train the robot for 50,000 steps in gazebo simulation, and then transfer the learned policy to the real robot without fine-tuning. For real robot experiments, the robot needs to keep track the pose of the obstacle in the basket, as shown in the right video. In these experiments, we randomly placed the basket and the obstacle on the table, and then instructed the robot to throw the object to the basket. Our formulation maintains the flexibility needed to throw different objects into a basket. You can see the detailed performance of all approaches. With increasing difficulty levels, the difference between SAC policy and others becomes greater. During the experiments, we observe three type of failures. They are including Inaccurate parameters prediction Inaccurate object tracking Lag in executing the gripper commands on time Thank you for watching